okay, so how many animals need to be killed to make, I don't know, a certain number of steaks in the lab? None. That's the, that's the beauty of the process. No need to sacrifice the animals, so that's one of the biggest advantages of this. Instead, the company took some cells from a chicken feather. The cells are fed nutrients in a liquid solution so that they can develop and multiply into muscle fibers, in other words, meat. Once these have grown to be ready to cook, what do they look like? So they look like ground chicken meat. This is frozen, so it has the same sort of uh, color. It's pale, white, yellow. But for me, I'm concerned about what you have to add to cells mm -hmm. in, a, in a clinical, in a lab setting, and what that might be doing to me as someone who's eating that meat. That's the bit I'm wary of, mm -hmm. and I'm sure I'm not alone. About the nutrition that we give the cells, it's not different than the feed that we provide to the animals in terms of calories, proteins, and all that. The only thing that changes is the process. Instead of growing in an animal, they're growing in an incubator in a tank. So we're just, we're just heating up our oil and ready to drop our little chicken nugget in. Okay. Can you just show me what it looks like before you cook it? Of course. Is this the same stuff as in the frozen packet you showed me? And then mm -hmm. breaded? Yes. Little mm -hmm. breadcrumbs? Yes. And what else? So if we had a label on this today, the number one ingredient would be cultured chicken. Am I seeing paprika here? A little bit. I like paprika. <laughs> <laughs> well, ultimately, we want this to taste good. As much as I love everything that you're doing here, I just don't want to eat it. Come on, join an exclusive club for now. You're good. Go on then. How can you argue with that? I know. Is this why you put in front of house? Pretty much. <laughs> Among other things, by the way. Smear of sauce. Yeah. It's yeah, all in the presentation, good. Josh, isn't it? It looks like chicken nugget and it smells like chicken nugget. And the taste? I wouldn't know the difference. Have I just tasted the future, lads? Yeah. <laughs> the future is now. <laughs>